Hmm. Saturday the 12th. I was going to say March. April 2014, 07. 30 hours, British sometime. I'm not in there. It's a long story. I'm in Newport. Normally these things start out in bed. Was oh, by the way. One Vanessa. Yeah. I found an odd version of Daily Tech News. Worked fine on my Samsung U6. U7. Choked. Locked the thing up solid. Back to the house. Fire up the laptop. Remove the file. <sighs> Not good. Anyway. As I said, this is Newport. The weather's going to be a festival. There's still ongoing. I'm going to see if I can get a 4G MiFi. Um, I'm thinking coffee number one, Tom Toyer Lewis, three store, uh, John Wallace Linton, the lamb, uh, pen and wig, and then I might fall over. Seems like ages since I've been here last. There you go. Oh, I haven't got a South Wales Echo either. And as I'm in Newport, don't think I will. Like I was totally wrong about the echo, you can get one in the court. And later I'll be going in there and just doing it early because there's too many people around later. Later, later, later. They also have wash kits. Yeah. Oh, Alright, bad luck. Ah, the Tom Toyer Lewis. £2.15 a pint compared to one eighty nine in the Ernest Willows. I'm thinking differential pricing. Alright. So I'm in my favourite seat. I've got a Belgian beer at 6% alcohol by volume. It's Solange. Solange. And it's by a lady called Hildegard from Flanders. And it looks nice. And I use my beer discount thing. And the bad news is the beer festival ends tomorrow. So, I'll put Mr. Manning. Try breakfast? No. No? No. Nope. Um, definitely not me. <laughs> but. I was too honest, I'm sorry. Uh, you, uh, you got a lot of breakfast then? Yeah. Oh, yeah, back to the beer. Ah, uh, that's really nice. Quite subtle with a sort of strong, butcherish aftertaste finish. I can taste coriander, that sort of pork gartney sort of taste. Definitely a B. But not for me, because I refused breakfast, but it wasn't mine. Number two, and this is a half. There is a good reason for that. This is white out by Brains, 4%. A white IPA, and supposedly cloudy. Well, that looks clear as a clear thing being clear. Now, 4%, not really an IPA. Thank you, Mr. Osborne. Yes, health, etc. Last lunch was still very good. Anyway, can I pick Mr. Manning? Oops, spillage. Oh, look, catastrophe. Um, that's very strange. First of all, it sort of tastes a bit vinegary, but then it doesn't. I'm not sure how I'd describe that, but I'll give it a B. Plus. Proud possessor of a 4G Mi Fi. Excellent. And the guy, same guy, swapped my sim with. And probably YouTube will say, Do you want to stabilize this? That's a lunch. It's really had an effect on me. Anyway, here we go. I'm still on quick yet. John Wallace Linton. Red Rye IPA by King Gorm. 
Four and a half percent on four by volume. And I think this is real wood. I suppose it is real wood as opposed to patented cup. So, okay, no 4G in Newport, by the way. But coming this way, anchorfully. Mmm. Mmm. There's a hint of tiny rebel in there. Uh, lots of hops, lots of American hops. A minus. I'm a sucker for this sort of thing. So they're selling off the festival here, it's cheap. Do it. Basically, no This is 169. This is Juniper Rye by Salter, it's 2% of the whole by volume. Oh, citrusy, lovely. Wonderful. And there's a curry sale here today. And the lamb is tiny rebel. I love the choice. B yeah, B plus plus. I think I'm really joking. The curry is on order with emergency small bowl of chips. Wow, that was slurry. Um, this is Marzen Fest by Inva Almond. Oh gosh. 4.5% uh, alcohol by volume. I'm um, having a discussion with the barmaid about the six point. She says she doesn't like ale. I'm saying US hops. Six point. Oh, that's completely different. An extremely different finish. I can't have to describe that, but I like it. So I'm going to be plus plus. There's a job crazy on the way. They're only tiny rebel glasses. This is Dunbar glass, but it is tiny rebel um, from the batch editions. This is one inch, oh, forgotten, one inch something. Oh, a uh, new episode, Danny Kelly. Right, okay, hang on. I've got the. Uh, one inch punch. 3.9% alcohol by volume. There's your station building at the top. It's good. It's B++. Plus plus. It's not quite the best Tiny Rebel ever, but it's, I like it. And I'm sleepy. The white and without the tiny rebel. You can probably guess what this glass is. Should have asked for one with the handle. Golden Age from Celtic Experience for 0.2% alcohol by volume from Philly. Which I'm heading back towards. QPR versus Forest, 2 under QPR. What sauce? Tiny Reb loss. B plus plus. Zapped. 